Hey everybody, it's Big Ant here and I just wanted to make a video showing you guys this LED system that I'm putting together for my yard haunt this year that's going to allow me to actually put these uh, lanterns and candles and pumpkins out for the entire month. <clears throat> Let me just go ahead and start off by saying that uh, all credit for this needs to go to uh, Derek Young, D Minor Sound here on YouTube and the forums. If you guys haven't checked out his stuff, you really need to. He's a really cool guy and comes up with some uh, really neat stuff. So this is based on his design on using RCA connectors to power uh, an LED system. And uh, also he recently discovered these really cool flickering uh, LEDs. And what's really cool about them is they don't need any other electronics to flicker other than just providing power to them. So based on his design and the cool LEDs he found, um, this is what I've put together so far. Um, let me go ahead and turn the lights on so you guys can get a uh, better look at this and uh, show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. So as I mentioned, um, I'm following Derek's design and I'm using these RCA connectors uh, along with a 12 volt power supply to power everything and what's really neat about this design using the RCA connectors is that you can get pre-made RCA cables really cheap from places like uh, Monoprice and uh, even eBay I think on Monoprice I was seeing 25 foot long cables for just under two bucks and what's nice is you know they come with a red and white left and right lead and you can actually just split that cable in half and then you've got two cables uh, essentially for just under two dollars and the way this all works here it's pretty simple you, um, if you want to do the same project you will need some electrical skills as well as some soldering skills and um, a few components uh, what we've got here is uh, I'm using a 12 volt power supply which is uh, where, here it is right here so I've got a 12 volt uh, in this case 2 amp power supply that I'm using to power everything. I may go up to a 5 amp just so I could put more lights uh, off of it without tapping out the power of it. And that 12 volt power supply is wired into these RCA connectors that you see here. And what I did was I went ahead and wired my positive lead up to the inner pin and my negative up to the outer pin. And the reason I did this uh, was just to protect myself because the inner pins are insulated and they're shielded there. Uh, this keeps me protected from in case I drop anything metal across it or anything like that. It's not going to short out or anything. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to place this box, uh, even though the box itself is waterproof, I'm going to place the entire box inside of a uh, weatherproof enclosure for the yard this year. And uh, essentially what I've got here is I've got some really cool lanterns that I just got this week actually from Big Lots. These were on clearance for uh, $5.60 a piece. Ironically, they were already LED candles, or excuse me, LED lanterns. And I just kind of gutted them and put the uh, flickering LEDs in them along with the uh, RCA cables and everything so that I can set them up wherever I want for the entire month without having to constantly go and turn switches on every night and replace batteries every few days. And uh, this here is actually a LED candle that I already had. I had quite a few of these already in various uh, sizes and stuff. And unfortunately, uh, two Halloweens ago, so last Halloween when I opened them back up again, I realized I had forgotten to take the batteries out of them. And of course, they corroded. So like a dummy, I threw a majority of them away and only kept a few of them. Now I wish I kept them all because what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm retrofitting them using the system and like I said this is great because I I was using these already in the yard but you know every night I would have to go and turn them on and off but using this I could just set them out there and not have to worry about that and I know a lot of people have been asking how to do the actual uh, wiring and stuff behind this um, it's relatively simple like I said you know you will need a power supply of your choosing and what I've got here is I've got some components that we put together. Uh, first of all, once you pick a power supply, I recommend a 12 volt because it's just the easiest. You're going to need to get these LEDs. These are uh, 
yellow flickering LEDs. I got these from LED Lighthouse, I believe it was, off of uh, eBay. Uh, they're relatively cheap. These are 5 millimeter. And once you pick those, you're going to need your resistors. And the way you pick your resistor is based on, there's some information you're going to need from the LEDs. Um, the information you'll need should be available um, before you purchase them. Like uh, LED Lighthouse actually has information on eBay as far as like the milliamps that they draw and the forward voltage and things like that. And there's an LED calculator that you can use online to figure out your resistor. So putting in the information based on my 12 volt power supply I came up with that I needed um, 560 ohm half watt resistors which is what I've got here and the way to wire this all up essentially excuse me here is you're gonna get your LEDs and you're gonna wire your resistor up to the um, let me see if I can get that in the camera there it won't focus unfortunately you're gonna wire your resistors up to the positive lead of your LED and you can do this well you can identify the positive lead one of two ways I wish this camera would focus on this if the leads are still intact and haven't been cut yet more often than not you're gonna see one lead is longer than the other your longer lead is gonna be the positive lead and if for any reason the leads have already been cut and you can't tell which one was uh, originally the longer lead the other way you can tell too is based on the fact that the LED uh, will have a flat side. Excuse me, look at that in the camera again. The LED will actually have a flat side and a rounded side near the leads. The flat side will be your negative and the rounded side will be the uh, positive. So essentially you're going to take your LEDs, you're going to wire on your resistor onto the positive side and um, just use whatever wire you want. I'm just using regular old 18 gauge speaker wire here. And uh, you're gonna go ahead and solder your resistor on. Cut this short. You want your resistor to be as close uh, to the LED as possible. So you're gonna go ahead and snip that. You're gonna solder your resistor on, solder your wire on. And then what I've got here is I have solder type RCA connectors as well. And it's really not that difficult. Um, I'm heat putting heat shrink on everything. That's probably a good idea as well, uh, just to keep everything from shorting out. I've actually been going crazy with my heat shrink. I've been putting heat shrink on everything on both sides of it. But it's it's relatively simple. Like I said, you're gonna take your resistor, you're gonna wire it up to the excuse me, solder it up to the positive lead of your LED. You're going to toss some wire on, and then you're going to solder up the RCA connector. And again, it's important to keep track of where your positive and negatives are at all times. As I mentioned, uh, I was making positive of the center pin. So when you use your solder type connectors, just make sure you keep track of that. Um, you know, that the center is positive and the outer shield is your negative when you're soldering everything. And that's really it. And... Um, like I said, this is a really cool system that Derek came up with. Uh, what I liked was how versatile it is. Uh, in addition to these flickering LEDs, as you can see here, I just threw together a, a blue LED spotlight super quick just to, just to put it together and make sure everything worked. And what's nice about these is um, you can usually get these on eBay already made for a 12-volt system. So I got a, a bundle of blue LEDs already wired and maybe kind of hard to see on the camera here but they come already wired with excuse me the uh, resistor already soldered on it's already heat shrinked you got your red and black cables showing you positive and negative and uh they're fairly cheap i, I forget what i paid for these it, it wasn't much uh they got shipped over from china so it took a little while to show up but what's nice about these is there's no work needed to, to do other than put your rca connectors on the other end and then you can just plug them right into your 12 volt power supply and the other nice thing too is if you're finding that you need more outlets and stuff you can always use your uh, RCA Y adapters and give yourself more outlets the only thing that you got to really pay attention to as I mentioned is the uh, amps on your power supply you know you're gonna have to do a, you know figure out how many uh, LEDs you can have based on how many amps the LEDs draw versus how many amps your power supply can put out um, that's why I was mentioning I, I may go from a 2 amp power supply to a 5 amp 
um, just in case I want to put, well, honestly, I mean, you think even at two amps here, I'm looking at like a hundred LEDs uh, that this power supply would be able to supply uh, power to without any problems. But in case for any reason I wanted to go more than that, I may go bigger. But um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I was doing based on Derek's design. And that's where I'm at so far. Like I said, I bought a bunch of these lanterns this week. Uh, the other thing too here, um, again, uh, I, you know, I, I frosted these glasses. I wasn't able to find the cool frosted spray paint that I think Derek found, but I did find, uh, I've got a matte finish, uh, clear spray paint that's working. The only problem is it, it takes quite a few layers for it to actually not become totally clear to actually give it that kind of frosted look. I was having to just apply layer after layer, but it's working. And um, I'm pretty happy with the uh, results so far. But uh, that's it. i got to get working. This is time-consuming, putting all these components together, soldering everything together. It does take a while, and it does take some patience, and you'll probably make a mistake here or there along the way. Um, but in the end, I think it's going to be worth it to just be able to have all these lanterns, LEDs, and uh, spotlights and everything throughout the yard, including the pumpkins and everything this year, with a really cool... Um, flickering LEDs in there without having to go out there every single night and change it. So, uh, thanks for watching you guys.